Hmm. Some strange things afoot in the uh, shrimp tank. Lovely, look at them. Beautiful colours. I do like shrimp. They, uh, they're something different for me. But I have these things. I don't know if you can see that. Climbing up the glass. Some kind of worm. It looks like a planaria or something like that, or diatom worm. Would like people's opinion on that. And if we need to get rid of them, the trumpet snails everywhere. So I've kind of left this to its own devices. Apart from doing the you know the obvious water changes and that, I have changed some stuff about. Made sure everything is working as it should. Um, we do have blue, orange, red, and I think brown shrimp in there, which are these guys here. And they're enjoying a little bit of a snack. There's babies here as well, as you can see. Um, so, I would say this is a success now. I've been listening to people talking about TDS. Total Dissolved Solids. Now this is kind of misleading for me because when I first started the tank, admittedly I just used uh, my normal water, which had a TDS of 400, which is a lot, obviously. Um, when I was reading the articles about it, bearing in mind this was a quarantine tank that I was using. Then I found out some other stuff. So now I've been listening to a TDS of 120s, that sort of range. But it doesn't tell me total dissolved solids. What solids are they? I mean, they could be anything. I mean, looking at what these should be, um, I mean, there's eggs all over that. I don't think you can see the eggs there. Yeah. Um, no metals, obviously, which I don't. I do put calcium balls in there uh, and a food which is calcium rich, which is obviously pretty good for shrimp anyway. But apart from that, TDS doesn't tell you anything. I mean, I remineralize with something called salty shrimp. Um, and because I've got a live or an active substrate, I use just the GH one, which is very good. Um, the new system, I'll be doing a, a little walk around the new RO system I got, which is very good. I've got to be honest, it is beyond what I used before. Um, does 200 gallons uh, a day. Which is obviously what you need. There's mummy, mummy shrimp there. Look at that big shrimp. I'm assuming that male and female are easy to, to determine on size, and obviously they carry eggs. But yeah, so TDS, it doesn't actually tell me what. So really, what I need to do is strip the water back to zero. Um, I mean, is rainwater any good? You know, is is. I don't know, diluted water, um, and I say diluted water, what I mean is is tank water that has been diluted by RO water, is that a good way of remineralizing? You know, there's so many things that I need to to figure out with these. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with a tank, and they seem happy. I mean, they're breeding, as you can see. I did change the flow setting on it, uh, make it a little bit less. I am concerned about the worms, so that would be something that um, I would like someone to have a look at for me. Um, you can see the shrimp there doing a good job of demolishing anything in there. You know, we have different types of shrimp in there. Um, there you go, that one, you can't really see it because of the light. Damn, oh well. There's one up there which is in a blue colour as well. They're looking really good. I'm really chuffed with the way things are working out. Um, I've always had shrimp, you know that guys, uh, in the big one. We have the Armanos at the back there. Also, Ottos, are they a good fish to keep with shrimp? You know, I always thought they were quite good for that, but, you know, we in water conditions are the same. Just a little quickie. Just your opinions, guys, that's all I want. TDS, Total Dissolved Solids. Mm. 
130. I mean, remineralize it with a salty shrimp and your job's done. Um, having said that, the water quality is important to shrimp, I know. But how far do we go with that? Nubius, look, I glued that on four months ago. This one's growing now, which is quite good. But I do want to know what those worms are. Are they, are they going to pose a threat to my shrimp? So get back to me guys, thank you very much.